I'm uh, originally from Delaware, but I really consider my hometown uh, Bremerton at this point. That was where my wife and I bought our first house. That's where my daughter was born. And that's where I look to go back to when I retire. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous place to live, gorgeous place to be. I can't wait to get back there. When I think of home, that's really where I think of now. I got out of college and I actually worked uh, in the civilian sector for a little while, about three years. And I realized I just wasn't very exciting. It wasn't very interesting. And, you know, I'd, I'd learned about the nuclear propulsion program uh, before that. And I thought, you know what, five years to go out and do something completely different that I won't regret. I'll go give that a try and, and see if I like it or not. And it turns out I, I did like it. I was pretty good at it. And so now 20 years later, I'm still doing it. Can you feel the waves or do you get seasick on board a submarine? Uh, the answer is once we once we dive down to a normal depth, you really can't feel much at all unless there's a really big storm. Now, if you're sitting near the surface, we do rock around a bit and uh, sea sickness has been known to happen to quite a few people on board the submarine. How do you see where you're going? And we spent a lot of time training on how to take a green screen of lines that shows us the sound in the ocean, the sonar, and be able to drive uh, using that alone since there aren't any windows on board the submarine to see where you're going. How's the food? And I'd say I'm very fortunate that our food on board Washington is some of the best I've ever had in the Navy. You get a lot of good ingredients and the cooks are well skilled at putting those together. And I usually gain a few pounds while I'm out at sea that I gotta try and work out once I get back to shore. Family support network that we, we build in the Navy and in on our submarine on Washington really is the foundation of our war fighting when, when you really look at it. It's, it's a hard thing to ask guys to, to go out and be six months away from home. Um, that's a pretty big strain on the families. And I know everyone goes out more reassured knowing that their families are taken care of and they know that that family is back there supporting them. You know, it's the simple things like getting the emails at sea, getting the halfway boxes on deployment. These little things that the uh, families bring and that our supporters bring uh, really do make the difference so that we know that even when we're out doing the hard job, there's somebody at home thinking about us that cares about us. Washington's motto is preserving peace, prepared for war. And I think preserving peace is one of the greatest benefits the Navy brings to, to our country. Is the Navy is the first force that can get to where it needs to go anywhere in the world and take the fight to the enemy. And the submarine force in particular can get there unseen and deliver the force we need to, to hopefully bring the, bring the fight back to diplomacy, get people back to the table and so we can end the conflict as quickly as possible. What would be some of the takeaways that I would say to, of the benefits of Naval service? is that no matter whether you're coming in for 20 years or just five years, when you come into the Navy, you get a chance to, to learn a set of the skills, to get the experience that will put you ahead of any peers as you go and compete in the job market. You'll be coming out with, with the ability to make decisions, the ability to solve complex problems, and, and a better feel for what, what you really enjoy in life and what you want to do that will lead to success down the road, no matter uh, what you think of the five years or, or more of Naval service that you do. I'm going to take those memories with me for the rest of my life. As I can say, I've woken up in the middle of the ocean. I've, I've gone places I've never been before. And that's a set of experiences that you can't get anywhere else.